Hello everyone. Good to see you again. So today is a very shiny day. I think it's a California so weather is some uh, is unusual uh, weather before uh, last week. So we have so many rainy and very cold. In early morning around 6 a.m. it's very very cold. But today and coming this week, coming April, it's a very shiny and a little bit warm weather. Uh, that's good news for me and I think good news for you. Anyway, good to see you again and welcome to IUTS BT380 Wisdom Literature. Okay, so this week is a 10th week. So last week we are the not 10th week. Last week is 9th week because uh, the before last week we had a Easter break. That's why we skipped uh, the before last week and then we count last week is ninth week and this week therefore tenth week and this week is uh, I'm continuous uh, last week the book of proverb the part one and today so we're gonna study the part two the book of proverbs so I wanna open the PowerPoint Okay, so introduce the International University and Theological Seminary BT380, the Wisdom Literature 2024 Spring. So my name is MC Lee, my young Lee. And today is a lecture tense, the, the same uh, lecture method is the first one is a repeat, and so second one is uh, I'm gonna uh, finish the second part of the book of Proverbs. So how many book of the wisdom literature in the Bible? Five books. And first book is Job's and second book is the book of Psalms. And today third book of the Proverbs finish. That means the, uh, we have finished five uh, we have finished the three books among the five books of the called wisdom literature in the Bible, Job's, Psalms, and Proverbs. So we have finished uh, over the half. What is the Proverbs? What is the book of Proverbs when they were not written that? So the king of Israel who, who his name is Solomon. So at that time is around the BC, before Christ, 900 years. So King Solomon written that. But not only a uh, king of Solomon, so various also. So couple uh, also the book of Proverbs and also a little poem and the, the forefather, so ancient, and the forefather of Israelity, so they uh, record of the uh, proverbs and instruction. So when Solomon was the king of the Israel, they collect and they organize the one book, make one book. So why, why we uh, study the Proverbs and why uh, King of Solomon uh, written that uh, Proverbs to the Israelite? Because the, the King of Solomon is the third king of Israel. The first king is uh, we call the Saul. Saul is the first king of the Israel and second king is David. 
the king of David is the second king of Israel, and Solomon is the son of David, and he was the third king. And maybe three generations passed the Israel, and then they needed that the rule of the law, because the king or government should be uh, teach to the people what uh, they uh, follow the national rules, and they should know that the uh, uh, personal ethic and personal uh, moral between the people's relationship in the Israel. Of course, before they know that uh, uh, moral or ethic but uh, they are not structured, they are not organized of the national rule. That's why Solomon, king of the Israel, so he liked to the organize because the Israel uh, is already third king. That's why so Solomon, so he want to teach to the Israel people and he give to the instruction how they should be should follow the Israel uh, government. And what is a special character in the book of the Proverbs is a uh, first one is a very very practical book. What is a practical book is a uh, this is a, a very relation, very close relation with our real life, and also not only Israelity no Christian. It doesn't matter they are uh, uh, Christian or they are uh, different people. It doesn't matter. So this uh, Proverbs applied, apply, applied to the all uh, peoples, not only Israelite, no Christian, and Buddhist, Muslim, it doesn't matter. So. That's why so this proverb, the book of proverb, is a very very practical book for us, to everybody. And second, a special character is a general life wisdom. What is a general life wisdom? This this book is not only uh, theological theory. This book is a very practical uh, ethics book. That's why it's a very easy reading and easy understanding. So why you can uh, easy reading the book of Proverbs easy understanding? Because this is uh, our uh, real life. So if we uh, fight to somebody and then this is good or no good? It's no good. And they are cheating or they are stealing something from up uh, from the other people this is criminal and that's why so king of solomon so king of solomon should uh, instruction how uh, treatment how punishment to the criminal people and so this is a very uh, general life wisdom and in practical book is a very special character even the book of Proverbs inside is the uh, uh, one uh, Bible among the 66 books in the Bible. So one Bible book, but not too many uh, theological theory and not too many mention about the Jehovah or God or Jesus Christ or cross. Not too many mention the uh, biblical word. That's why it's a, this book is a very general life wisdom. And what is conducted of a real life? So we gonna uh, consist the second uh, divide. One is personal conducted, and second one is public conducted. I wanna talk to. I wanna. Uh, Discuss with the first one, personal conducted. What is a personal conducted? 
idleness, honesty, family relationship, and man and woman relationship. We are the people and every morning we should wake up uh, what uh, is good for the uh, good man is early morning. Uh, you know, it's a uh, English wisdom is a early bird can capture the uh, many worms. Early bird can capture the many worms. Right? And high fly the bird can see the all over the world. High the bird can fly higher and then the bird can see more see more future, more viewpoint. Just like that as a personal conducted and honest. So we are should be we should be honest, yeah? And family relationship, what, uh, what's the role of the parents and what's the role of the children? Now how they uh, can make the relationship the name of the family? And spouse, so husband and wife. Also, ordinary man and ordinary, ordinary woman, how can they make a relationship? If the married man can meet the unmarried man, unmarried woman is no good. That's what we call the adultery. So adultery is the very sin, a serious crime, crime, criminal, uh, something, uh, just like that. Uh, first part, personal conducted, and then we can separate, we can divide the second part. Is a publicly conducted. What is publicly conducted? The king of Solomon is the king, and he control, he manage the Israel, and also they have the all uh, organize the Israel government. That's why it uh, should be the people, Israel people should know that the. What is the national politics? What is the uh, goal of the Israel government? And how they can uh, management of the wealth? If they collect, they have the, so many money, they have a so full uh, financial situation, how they can spend the people? They can, they, the government spend it, the financial and uh, how they uh, spend the good for the people. This is a wealth management and what is business ethics. So the company or a shop or the owner of the businessman or a woman should be very honest to the, to the customer and to the people. And if they get a uh, lot of money, they have gained the uh, money from the business, and then the business owner should pay to the tax to, to the national, to the government, just like a business ethic. So the problems can consist to uh, separate two portions, two parts. Is the personal conducted and properly conducted. And last time, last week, we uh, studied the theological perspective. Even the book of Proverbs is uh, not too many mention about the Jesus Christ, not too, man, not too many uh, theological words, but we should know who I am, who am I. So we are the sinner against the Creator. Creator created to us is not sin without sin, but we take a sin and then uh, if we are sinner, how we expect to the Creator? So we must know 
who I am, we are sinners. And then how we can save that, our life. And then we should need Jesus Christ who coming as a Savior. As perspective, and then we reading the book of Proverbs. There are social science and humanities in the book of Proverbs, but even we must know who I am and how and why we need the Savior as Jesus Christ. That is perspective. We should get the perspective and then we can lead and we understanding the book of Proverbs. And that how we apply to the Proverbs or to the my or I'm sorry. So how we apply to uh, book of Proverbs to our real life. Apply to daily life. Why? So, the book of Proverbs consists of 31 chapters. 31 chapters just looks like the same in the calendar. Every month is 30 days or 31 days. Sometimes 29 or 28 in, as the February. But usually, so every month is 30 or 31 days. The book of Proverbs consists of 31 chapters. That's why when you reading, when you read the one every chapters every day, exactly same date. Ne? Uh, for example, today is uh, April uh, 4 or 5. And then if you uh, open the Bible and looking for the Proverbs and four or five chapters you reading, and repeatedly every month. One time, two time, you read the, the uh, Proverbs every month, and then you are naturally godly and healthy, wise life. You get that. You get that naturally godly and healthy, wise life. Okay? I think, so, we are the uh, human, and then we uh, heard so many times same word, and we heard uh, so many times same word, and then automatic uh, we the action met the uh, different situation. No matter what, we the action is the same attitude. This is as naturally godly and healthy, wise life. Is applied to the uh, this uh, book of Proverbs in our real life, and what is literally features in the book of uh, Proverbs? First one is a uh, chiasmus. Chiasmus is compare the sun and sun and moon, or right and darkness, right, right and dark and good and bad, just like that, chiasmus. So many times, so many uh, use that uh, this uh, literally uh, method is chiasmus in the book of Proverbs and repetition. Uh, repeat and repeat. You know, it's uh, education and training is a uh, same uh, Purpose. What is the purpose for the education and training? Because we should be uh, maturely our life. So, for example, as a six, six years old boy or girl, or seven years old or boy or girl, they are not unmature. They are very children, childish, and they are. Uh, not too many experience, and they have also not too many have uh, information, not too many educated. But we get getting the more educated and is educate. That means that we get the more information and more knowledge. But must be. Don't stop the only uh, get getting the information 
and don't stop the getting the uh, knowledge. Another one step you should be forward because we just do it and make a uh, you know it's a, how can I say drills so training and then we have a get the experience getting knowledge getting information and we are acting and reaction every different situation it doesn't matter so we reaction and then we found that oh this is good for me good for my method this is to the this situation but sometimes oh this is no good for even my knowledge and I get my information is good but not apply to this situation and then you get the experience this is a uh, educate information knowledge and acting reaction and experience and training educate and training together and then you are getting mature mature life you are getting uh, more good personality okay so this week tenth week and repeat finish and second part of the proverbs i like to repeat so very important thing because uh, uh, when you uh, take uh, one class pro, uh, wisdom literature or gospel or you know it's a, a different more uh, language of uh, Hebrew language of Hala it doesn't matter when you finish the this class and then what is your what uh, you can get the uh, message so message of the book of Proverbs is not only Christian but also ordinary people of other as a mis, uh, mistyping other religions if you are not Christian it doesn't matter it's the book of Proverbs is very useful for you very good for you in your life in your real life and when the pro book of Proverbs was written that so King of Solomon was BC 900 that means that uh, uh, before 3000 years ago long long time ago they said they said how we can get the good relationship with the family or man and woman or how we follow the government rules how we take uh, keep the business ethics they said in the book of Bob, Proverbs but still until now it's the same apply that you know very funny thing is a uh, Jewish people when they make or uh, open the business and then what is the principal book this is a Proverbs how they can get the money how can gain the uh, profit from the business and how they can save the tax how can they save the uh, you know it's a material or how can uh, control the employee they can uh, learn from the this book of Proverbs around 3000 years ago they mentioned that that's why it's a very very huge for this book for you also and me this book is not only Christians but also ordinary people of other religions other people other nationality it doesn't matter this is good for the book of the wisdom and second thing is ethical and moral aspect of ordinary people ethical and moral ethical is the relation with the public relation but moral is the same the emotional or uh, feeling 
something like that. Ethica is the rules, regulation. This is good for the ethical and moral books. And also a rule of law as a governing. The government, governor, they saw that the book of Proverbs and they uh, compare and they uh, use that uh, uh, word of the book of Proverbs when they managing the government. This is good for the real life for us. And we can uh, summarize. First one, this uh, book of Proverbs, most important source of wisdom is fear of God. What's the meaning of the uh, fear of God? If you are the owner of the business, but nobody can control to you, and then uh, you cannot, you don't uh, fear to something. Everything is up to you. This is uh, no good, sometimes no good business for you. But how and how came from the wisdom? The wisdom came from the fear of God. The sometimes is a, a check and balance, something like that. Check and make a balance. So we report every day. Sometimes we writing every uh, moment, and then we check up the how. We manage the, our business or how we manage our life. And also uh, the how we can get the better goals, how we can get a uh, better uh, profit. This is most important source of the wisdom is the fear of God. And you can open the uh, Bible, the book of Proverbs, and you can read it, the verse, and then uh, you fear of the God. You can find that the fear of God. And how? So we, how attitude if we can uh, take a fear of God and then we obey God's word. God's word, but this is very important. Read his love. You know, for example, is if you love somebody, if you walking somewhere without love, without uh, likeness, and then you can get the, uh, you cannot uh, obey the rule, and you should be, uh, you should wanna. Uh, kick it out. If you love somebody and then uh, you follow his word or her word, it's the same. God's word, but God loves you and then you follow to God. And then when you obey the God with his love, and then you are uh, more and more and wisdom people. Because the most important source came from fear of God. Fear is a true word is inside. First one is respect. And second one, scary. Second one is be careful to the God. So if you love somebody, and then respect to somebody and also you careful to somebody, both of them, and make a balance. Not uh, only one is a very uh, risky uh, something, yeah, something that. Mm -hmm. Okay, the book of Proverbs and most important source of wisdom is the fear of God. It's very important. 
Okay, so I like to uh, divide four kind of the uh, attitude toward the book of Proverbs. First one, uh, what is attitude to the toward the book of Proverbs? The book of Proverbs is very easy reading and easy understanding. This is good for us, but sometimes we reading the literally. We reading only literally. But we know that. We get the information from the literally. But we cannot action. We cannot change that. We are not changed our life. And then it, this is uh, not good. Because we have so many information from the book. We can get uh, so many uh, wisdom like that only literally. That, that is not influence to us. That is no good. And we be careful because the book of Proverbs is easy reading and easy understanding. And oh yeah, I read that. This is good. I know that. I all know already. That what is your changed life? What is influence? to your life. You, see, you should be think about that. That's why, however, more cautious and calm. When you read the book of Proverbs, and then you thinking, say, uh, you get the information and, and also you think very deeply, very seriously. I know that the, this information and I do that or I do not. You think about that. Should, man should be honest and then you are honest or not honest. I know honest people is good but if I am honest or no. Just like that. However, more cautious and calm. Why we... The book of Proverbs is a very easy reading and easy understanding. But why we uh, must be cautious and calm? Because the book of Proverbs is the instruction book. How we living the, our life. This is instruction book. First one is a very practical didactic book. How? Exactly. Right away, three step after three step, and right side, you should be turned just like that. Very, very detailed and real practical instruction book is the, the book of Proverbs. And you should looking for wisdom in the verse. Every verse, you should find out what is the wisdom for, for me, not to other people, for only you. So God said, give to God, give to you, God give to you a special wisdom inside the book of Proverbs. That's why you should be looking for wisdom in the verse. And be careful. The book of Proverbs is not information book. The book of Proverbs is not only information. This is instruction book. Doing well, doing good, and do it right away and adjust to your life. That is the instruction. And it, the book of wisdom, the book of the uh, Proverbs is the instruction book. And second thing is when you are reading the book of Proverbs and you testing in your life and copying, what is your model? What is your uh, principle? Testing and adjusting and controlling 
and copying. Just do it. The first one is uh, you get the every different situation. Same age and same score, but not same situation. Even same age, same people, same study, but every man, every woman has a different, each different situation. But the one word or one book, the book of Proverbs is the same wording. But you should test it in your own your situation. And sometimes you looking for benchmarking is copying. And practicing, 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 and testing and testing, testing. It's repeat and repeat and repeat. And then what is good for wording is good your life. And what is your change, changeable? Uh, wording. You should look and you find out. That means the need more drills, practicing, practicing, and training and training. I think is why the book of Proverbs is easy reading and easy understanding because we have experience something. We have a, a lot of experience, a lot of experience. That's why so you should be careful. I know this word. I know, I know, I know. And then what's good for you? What is influence to you? How we can get the wisdom? Need more drill. Apply that in your life and apply in your situation and apply your relationship and apply in your business or your schooling everywhere. Testing and copying, testing, copying, training. This is good for you. That's why it's, uh, the book of Proverbs is a lot of repetition. Okay, third one is don't forget the biblical principle. The first one is uh, uh, I told you the wisdom came from the fear of God. And then don't forget the biblical principle. What is a biblical principle? Biblical principle is not philosophical and ethical. The Creator created us. And who knows better for me? Of course, the Creator knows better for me. Then why Creator created me? What creator's goal? Goal. What purpose of the creators? And you should think about that. And you looking for the biblical principles. That is not philosophical and ethical. What is came from philosophical thinking? Came from man, human. But wisdom came from the God. God give to us good, best wisdom, good for our real life. The philosophy and ethical, that means after that, we had the experience that, and then we found that, ah, this is a very good uh, method for my life. This one is no good method for my life. After that, after experience that, and we think is philosophical and ethical. But biblical principles, we can get the wisdom before we had the experience. What is good for us? Yeah, before we acting, before uh, we experience that we get the uh, wisdom this is good for the philosophical and ethical don't forget the biblical principle the book of proverbs is the biblical principle that's why it should always think the god the creator 
For example, is the uh, parents. Parents ask to the children. Parents instruction. Parents give to the instruction to their children. Why? The parents had already experienced that, and parents love to the, their children. That's why parents give a lot of word to their children. That's why, so when you're reading the book of Proverbs, and you should always thank the God, His Creator. Okay, last one is uh, uh, what, how get the attitude toward the book of Proverbs, Jesus Christ is model. Last time I told you, testing, copying, testing, copying, testing, copying, yeah, copying. How we can get the copy? To whom? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, love to enemy, love to each other, love to each other just like you. You can get the love to enemy. It's impossible for human. But Jesus Christ ordered to us love to enemy. If you love, if you uh, respect to enemy or uh, to somebody who doesn't like you, every time you loving or you respecting, you serving to them, and then what's going on? We know that even he is, he is or she is our enemy, my enemy, but even though I serving, I respecting, and I loving to him or her, and then he or she love to me. He or she respect to me. We know that. We got the information, we got the knowledge, but we cannot. But who can do that? Jesus Christ. Even he was going to the cross who the body says and the government of the Roman is uh, they are killing to the Jesus Christ but Jesus Christ said on the cross don't blame to, to them because they don't know they didn't know that what they do that Jesus Christ loving until dying this is a model. So we are copying. We should copy. That is not philosophical ethical. Philosophical and ethical cannot do that. But we can get the modeling of the Jesus Christ through the Bible. And second one is we should always think the God, the Creator, and Jesus Christ. Here is the, the Creator, but now modeling is a Creator and spiritual leader and just like uh, our own same body, physical body, He has that, Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, you think when you reading the book, the book of Proverbs and then what is modeling? In, what is your model? Is Jesus Christ. Okay, and then second one is uh, what is the structure of a verb? Let me let me talk to you. It's very simple. Two structure. So one structure is a man and God relation. How we obey the God, how we respect the God, and what. God said to us, what instruct to us, God instruct to us. That is the first part, structure. And second part, how we live with our same human relation. For example, 
It's a God said to us, don't be, I, don't be, uh, just like that. Uh, I cannot <laughs> remember that, but you, you should be honest. You don't be, you don't know, you don't, you don't have to the uh, cheating, you don't have to the manipulating to somebody. The God ordered to us, and then we follow the God's rule, and God and me is a relationship. If I uh, don't follow the God's rule, and then God or domination, God punishment, the relation with God is the first part. Second part, in public ethic, public moral, and then when I still, when I cheating some, from the somebody, and then the government rules are punished to us, going to jail or uh, give to fine. This is a, a donation. You can uh, see that the contents and classified of a collection. This is a part, but uh, this is a summary of the two part. One is God and human relation, and second structure, second part is a man and man, so relations. And third one is the contentual of the book of Proverbs, and I like to uh, same uh, meaning, but the final uh, conclusion is the fear of God. I told you, chapter 1 and chapter 9 is a, between 1 to 9 is God's wisdom. God give to us. God said to us. God instruct to us. That is God's wisdom. And 10 to 31 and 10 to last chapter is the human wisdom. So if we leave the man and man and man and woman, the family relationship and business ethics, something like that in the uh, among the humans, and then we can get the human wisdom. Then two part consist. And two part but one theme. What is one theme? Just only one theme is a fear of God. It's a very uh important and I should I should later repeat the fear of God chapter 1 to 7 verse okay so conclusion conclusion of the book of Proverbs so two part everything first one people guide from God's wisdom people obeyed God's order people Respect to God. People careful to the God. Anyway, people guide from God's wisdom and then God instruct to the human. Then we can get the wisdom from the God. That is good guide books in our real life. And second thing, still useful today. Last time I told you, so over 3,000 years ago, they mentioned how to live, how to make a business, how to make a rule, and how to follow the government rule, how loving to each other, everything is the same applicable, same word, that is still useful today. And then we follow that the, the book of Proverbs influenced to us until now and very strong influence to us. And then we changed our real life and we adjust our real life and we more creating up our real life through the Pro, the book of Proverbs. But don't forget, don't forget the biblical purpose, biblical theory, the root principle. The biblical principle is the fear of God. Don't forget that.
Okay. Okay, so let me explain the weekly assignment. It's a very easy one. Uh, three chapters. 15, 19, 26, some verbs. You are writing down on, on your paper. So when you write the three chapters, these verses, and you think, what's the meaning for, all, for me? What's the meaning? How God said to us? How God said to me? And how we can get the influence from the God, God from the God? And how we adjust my life from the God's wisdom? When you're writing uh, this verse, and then I hope you little bit or just little bit more upgrading your real life and you can get the more wisdom from the God. Okay? Thank you and uh, see you next week. Uh, probably next week we study the Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes uh, written also King of Solomon but a little bit some different uh, nuance different genre uh, but very interesting uh, book of the Ecclesiastes okay thank you and uh, see you next week